Hey everyone, and welcome back to the TTC Film Production Channel. Today we're taking a trip to a jewel on the Black Sea, the vibrant city of Batumi, Georgia. Batumi is Georgia's second largest city, but it packs a punch when it comes to charm, history, and stunning scenery. So, buckle up and get ready to discover everything Batumi has to offer, from its dazzling beaches to its unique cultural experiences. Get ready to explore its unique blend of modernity, history, and natural beauty. Let's go! Batumi boasts a stunning location on the Black Sea coast, nestled amidst lush greenery and the dramatic Caucasus Mountains. The city itself is a captivating mix of old and new, with a modern, resort-like feel alongside a historic center filled with 19th-century architecture. One of the first things that will grab your attention is Batumi Boulevard, a sprawling waterfront promenade that stretches for several kilometers. Batumi Boulevard is a 7-kilometer, 4.3 miles, long seaside promenade, considered the longest in Europe. This horseshoe-shaped boulevard is a major attraction for tourists and locals alike. It features walking and cycling paths, playgrounds, cafes, restaurants, and stunning views of the Black Sea. If you're seeking a delightful evening stroll in Batumi, be sure to check out the vibrant Batumi Piazza. Spanning 5,700 square meters, this lively square is packed with cafes, restaurants, bars, and hotels, creating an inviting atmosphere for visitors. Piazza Square is a popular tourist destination and is known for its large central mosaic, which is considered the largest figurative marble mosaic in Europe. The piazza is also lined with cafes and restaurants, making it a great place to relax and enjoy. The piazza is one of the most visited and popular sites of the Batumi, located in the seaside zone about four blocks from the Black Sea. A unique feature of the Piazza Square is a central mosaic of 106 square m which is considered the largest figurative marble mosaic in Europe. The mosaic was constructed from 88,244,735 cut and finished elements of 1 square cm each in size and jointed into 1,764,895 segments. The marble used for the mosaic came from 15 different countries. When we were in Batumi, it was very rainy and unfortunately the piazza square was empty. If you are an architecture enthusiast, you will undoubtedly enjoy a visit to Batumi's Europe Square, a picturesque location perfect for capturing stunning photographs and admiring the beautiful architecture. As the central hub of the city, Europe Square is a popular spot for both tourists and locals to gather and socialize. Originally called Era Square, it was renamed in 1997 after the Ajara Autonomous Republic joined the Assembly of European Regions. The square reflects Georgia's aspirations towards Europe. The square is surrounded by impressive 19th and 20th century buildings, making it a great place to take a stroll and admire the architecture. A standout feature of the square is the statue of Media, a mythological sorceress from Greek legend and a cultural monument of Batumi. The statue holds a golden fleece, which symbolizes the glory and cultural development of ancient Colchis. The entire square is surrounded by inviting hotels, restaurants, and cafes, where you can taste both Georgian and international culinary delights. Europe Square is a popular venue for events throughout the year, including the annual folk festival Gandagana, the Batumi festival Batumoba, Christmas markets, and international concerts featuring famous artists. The square is a popular spot for locals and tourists to gather and celebrate New Year's Eve. For a truly relaxing experience, to admire stunning buildings, and to capture fantastic photographs, be sure to visit Europe Square.
you should visit the harbour that is a main source of income for the city and an important tourist attraction point. The port also has an interesting lighthouse, built in 1882 by French engineers. When you move towards the Hotel Kempinski, you can see Batumi Lighthouse Tower. Theatre Square, also known as Neptune or Poseidon Square, is located right next to Batumi Theatre. In the middle of the square, there is a Neptune statue and fountain made with gold plating. The Neptune sculpture is very important for Batumi which has been making its living from the sea and the port for centuries. Of course, it should be noted that there is an Italian breeze just like the Piazza Square. After all, the original Neptune statue is located in Nettuno Square, Bologna, Italy. Boulevard, you'll encounter some of Batumi's most iconic landmarks. One of Batumi's most recognizable landmarks is the Alphabet Tower. Standing tall at 130 meters, this architectural marvel showcases Georgia's unique alphabet through dazzling lighting displays. It's not just a symbol of the city's modernity, but also a celebration of its rich cultural heritage. Alphabetic Tower, adorned with the letters of the Georgian alphabet, offers breathtaking panoramic views from its observation deck. For a glimpse into Batumi's past, wander through the old town district. Here, you'll find charming, restored buildings that house local shops, cafes, and restaurants. The Ferris Wheel, located in the Miracle Park, is waiting for those who want to see the city from above. Located close to the Alphabet Tower, this large ferris wheel is definitely worth a visit. You have the opportunity to see the panoramic view of all Batumi in a slow journey that takes about 15 minutes.
standout sight that consistently captivates tourists is the astronomical clock. Nestled in the heart of old Batumi, near Europe Square, its allure is impossible to resist, compelling you to pause and admire it. Equipped with a specialized mechanism, the Batumi astronomical clock not only displays the precise time but also provides astronomical information. Visitors can observe and comprehend the positions of the sun, moon, zodiac constellations, and planets. A nearby information board explains the clock's purpose and how to read it, so even if you're new to astronomy, you'll still have the chance to decipher the fascinating details. The clock also indicates the meridian, horizon, solar movement during sunrise and sunset, the moon's age, and its actual orbit around Earth. Such a timepiece is a rare find, and Batumi offers you the opportunity to experience it firsthand. I would like to tell you about the Alinino statue, which is considered the symbol of Batumi. This isn't your ordinary statue. The statue, also known as the love statue, symbolizes two young people who cannot meet. Ali and Nino are two giant figures made of metal, a man and a woman, perpetually moving towards each other. But there's a twist, they never quite meet. So, what's the story behind this captivating structure? Let's dive into the history of Ali and Nino. The statue is inspired by the famous novel Ali and Nino, by Kerban said. It's a love story set in Baku, Azerbaijan, between a Muslim boy named Ali and a Christian Georgian girl named Nino. Their love is forbidden due to their cultural and religious differences, mirroring the complex history of the region. The sculptor, Tamara Kvezatadze, brought this story to life in 2010. The figures move towards each other every hour, day, and night, symbolizing the yearning for love and the impossibility of overcoming certain barriers. The location of the statue on the Batumi Boulevard is also significant. Batumi is a seaside resort town known for its tolerance and multicultural atmosphere. It's a fitting backdrop for a story about overcoming cultural divides. The story of Ali and Nino resonates even today. In a world with increasing social and political divisions, the statue serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of understanding and acceptance. Whether you see it as a love story, a commentary on cultural divides, or simply a beautiful piece of art, Ali and Nino is a must-see for anyone visiting Batumi. The beauty of the statue, which is decorated with red and blue lights, is doubled in the evening hours. So, if you're ever in Georgia, be sure to check out this unique and moving landmark. Batumi isn't just about beaches and boulevards. Nature lovers will find paradise at the Batumi Botanical Garden, a treasure trove of flora from around the world. 
history buffs can explore the ancient Gonio Fortress, a Roman-era archaeological site that offers a fascinating glimpse into the region's past. In the evening, immerse yourself in Batumi's vibrant culture. Catch a performance at the stunning Batumi Opera House or experience the lively local dance scene. And of course, no trip to Georgia is complete without indulging in its incredible cuisine. The Georgian cuisine is influenced by the European and Middle Eastern cuisines, offers its own tastes with regional differences. Georgian food, which is not very bitter or spicy, consists of meat, pastries, meatballs, cheese, and vegetables. Foods such as walnuts, pomegranates, onions, garlic, fresh coriander, beans, nuts, eggplants, spinach, and plums are used in the recipes. Fruits, such as peach, plum, pear, grape and citrus, obtained from the fertile Georgian soil are frequently consumed. Batumi offers a delicious array of fresh seafood, savory stews, and mouth-watering pastries. One of Batumi's specialties is a Jerian kashapuri, a boat-shaped bread filled with cheese, butter, and a runny egg. 
In addition, Georgian wines attract attention with their unique taste and aroma. Do not return without tasting these flavors in Batumi, Kinkali, Sulguni, Kashapuri, Chakakbili, Chikinchkmeruli, Churchkela, and Tvadi. Now, let's talk about some travel tips to make your Batumi adventure even smoother. The best time to visit Batumi is during the spring and fall months. The weather is warm and sunny, but not too hot, making it ideal for exploring both the city and the outdoors. The city gets much more lively in the summer season. Especially, the seaside restaurants and hotels host a lot of visitors. This period is quite ideal for sea vacation. In spring, nature tourism is very popular in the Batumi. Camping and outdoor sports are highly preferred in these months. If you go to Batumi in winter, you can also visit Goderdzi Ski Center. Getting around Batumi is easy. The city has a well-developed public transportation system with buses, taxis, and even a funicular railway that takes you up to panoramic viewpoints. For those who do not prefer to take a taxi in Batumi, I would like to talk about public transportation, especially from the airport to the city center is very easy. When you take the number 10, tens and one bus, you can easily reach the city center. Likewise, you can easily reach the airport from the city center. The bus ticket costs approximately 0.89 Larry, Georgian GEL. Credit cards are accepted on the buses. You can also buy a transportation card. Batumi city center covers a very small area. Therefore, walking is the ideal way to explore the city center, which contains almost all of the places to visit. It takes about 45 to 50 minutes to walk from one end of the city center to the other. Batumi International Airport, TAV, is 7 kilometers from the city center. When it comes to currency exchange, Georgian Larry, GEL, is the local currency. ATMs are widely available throughout the city. I do not recommend exchanging money at the airport to avoid losses due to the exchange rate difference. Batumi is a gambling hub, with several casinos lining the coast. The city attracts a lot of tourists with its casinos. Batumi, where larger luxury hotels are built and more sparkling casinos are opened every year, is called the Las Vegas of Black Sea. Piazza Square and the seaside locations have also vibrant nightlife in summer. If you're looking for a fun and relaxing way to spend time with friends or on your own, consider visiting a casino where you'll find a professional team and top-notch service. Most casinos offer a wide variety of games you can enjoy, such as American Roulette and Blackjack. At Batumi Casinos, you can try your hand at various types of poker, such as Oasis Poker, Texas Hold'em Poker, Six Card Poker, and more. Batumi is a vibrant city with something for everyone to enjoy during the day or night. If you're an energetic, fun-loving person looking for a great time, Batumi's nightlife has a variety of nightclubs perfect for friendly entertainment. Many clubs are scattered throughout the city but those located on the boulevard are particularly noteworthy for a fantastic experience. Some of the most popular clubs in Batumi include Soho Batumi, Sector 26, and Garage Night Club. However, I should remind you that most nightclubs are open during the summer months. So, there you have it, just a taste of the magic that Batumi has to offer. This Black Sea gem is a city unlike any other, with a captivating blend of natural beauty, rich history, and vibrant culture. Whether you are seeking a relaxing beach getaway, an exciting city break, or a chance to delve into Georgian culture, Batumi has something for everyone. So why not add Batumi to your travel bucket list? You won't regret it. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of Batumi. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more travel adventures. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to Batumi. Until next time, happy travels!